you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm with Gavin Alters. Gavin is the Managing Director of Centriant. Now Centriant helps businesses take steps to deliver workplace relations and safety training, policy management and mandatory reporting via their online workplace compliance system. Here at Alkine, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates, all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the markets and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. Welcome, Gavin. How are you today? Yeah, really well, and thank you for having us on Calkine TV. Excellent. Great to chat to you today. We'll be looking forward to hearing your insights. So firstly, in your opinion, how important is it for any business to have a reliable compliance system? Apparently around 7 in 10 Australian businesses don't have them. Yeah, well, it's compliance means a whole lot of different things to different people, doesn't it? And um, in the realms of what we do, compliance is around helping directors take all reasonable for training and policy management. And um, we'd be surprised how many businesses, both small and large, have got gaps in that undertaking. So could you please briefly explain for our viewers the services that Centrion does provide? Yeah, what we've done is we've developed a, a piece of software and a compliance solution that enables small and medium sized businesses to get up and running within sort of 15 minutes or half an hour with all of the bread and butter workplace relations and safety courses. So think safety, bullying, sexual harassment, privacy, this type of thing. And then it comes with um, legally endorsed uh, policies as well. So effectively, you can add staff just like you would in any accounting software first name, last name, email, and roll out the necessary training and policies and show that you've taken all reasonable steps for any new starters. Uh, but then on an ongoing basis, we'd expect at least once every two years, you would be doing this as a, um, a bit of a benchmark across all industry sectors. So why do you believe Centriant is better than the legacy compliance regimes? Oh, look, I think what's, um, what's happened several years ago when we disrupted the market, um, gone are the days of spending tens of thousands of dollars establishing software with um, five-year contracts and really quite exorbitant fees. We just made it a lot easier for a business that might have five or ten staff um, up to those with a few hundred. And so um, what we've really focused on is our brand promise of smiles, comma, not frowns. Um, and it's all about making that whole process much easier so that, um, you know, a one person um, HR manager and HR function can get this stuff done without it being a painful exercise. Excellent. And as work conditions have significantly altered due to the COVID-19 pandemic, how has Centriant risen to the challenge? And also, how have they evolved during that time? Yeah, I think it, um, I mean, here in Australia, but, but globally, um, one country at a time, it took everyone by surprise. So um, we were going through all the same processes as our clients and many businesses uh, back in February, March um, of 2020. Well, it seems a long time ago. Um, and everyone was going to that remote working from home. And we had a number of clients that um, had come, come to us and said, hey, guys, do you think you could give us a helping hand in training for infection control and COVID safety and working from home. And we were able to very quickly within the space of um, several weeks, construct a package to help organizations with training and policies. And not only did we decide to do it for our own clients, but we made it publicly available from our website at no cost. And so we've seen thousands of people every day um, register for this since back in February, March, and it's gone, it's gone quite, um, quite global as well. Many health authorities and others from outside of Australia have taken on the, the free content, transcribed it to other languages, and it's just been our little way to add a bit of um, add a bit of value during some pretty tough times. It's one less thing a business needs to pay for. Excellent. That sounds great. So how does your compliance system ensure an optimally safe, inclusive and respectful workplace, would you say? Yeah, I think it's really... Um, it's interesting how you position a, a product because um, does a 15 minute sexual harassment course change someone from what we read about in the media 
to um, not being one to harass or discriminate overnight, well, I'm the first to say that's a no. So it's less about the actual training element and more about the education process. If an, if a, if an employee is coming into our business, we'd like to educate them that we take things like harassment, bullying, discrimination quite seriously. So here's some training that helps you identify it, report it, and help the organization resolve if it should happen. So what this is very much about in that cultural change is not just a standalone training element, but it's training with policies, encouraging people to put their hand up and have a conversation and feel safe to do so. And so that whole broader element of uh, making people feel safe at, at work and that they're being taken seriously is what we're about. Um, and yes, there's a, an important undertone to, to the compliance elements of this. And do you think that your compliance system has been imperative in workplaces as many people have started to work from home over the last couple of years? Yeah, I think the, um, it, it's, it's fascinating because the, the amount of businesses that have now gone to online training and policy sign-off as a result of COVID, um, we sit here most grateful that um, in our particular case, our, our business has grown in the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, we provide a safe spot for our employees. We provide a really important service to our clients. Um, and very much the, the COVID, the working from home um, has, has, has driven that as well, for which we, we feel quite blessed. Um, and we'll continue to, to add modules as we have. We've moved beyond compliance to onboarding, leave management. Uh, we've seen the performance module become more apparent because people are working from home. How are we having these conversations around um, performance? So I think it's become, uh, whilst accepted e-learning as a part of business over the years, I think it's become um, more of a requirement for many more business during these times. Well, Gavin, it's been great to chat to you today. It'll be very interesting to watch your company go from strength to strength as time goes on. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks very much for, for having, having us. And at Century, it's all about smiles, not frowns. So thanks very much. Bye. Love that. And with that, I'll sign off for now. Watch this space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.